Medic! TV on Game Surge. This match has begun. And let's take a quick look at Kami Bastards and see what they are going to start out with heading towards their spawn right now. Where we're going to have the full force press going straight for that side entrance. Airstrike being called out towards the spawn point, but there was no one to catch with that. The Kami Bastards had already cleared out. We're watching the engineers coming through. Mercy tossing a grenade up top as an, art, or an airstrike comes down. Mercy going to stick around and get dynamite planted just as the airstrike comes through. Support fire, direct hit on Mercy. MC gaining a little point there, but now we still have that dynamite counting down. And do we have an engineer? Jibba just inside the door. And Bench not pausing for a moment. Going to clear... Actually, Jibba able to survive that one. So Jibba, he has 12 seconds left to go. Can he get the dynamite defused? No, he cannot. So he's going to have to let this one go. Side entrance will be blown, and Kami Bastards will have their entrance to the radar. Now, an interesting point right now, Command Post currently in the hands. Ah, uh, I was going to say interesting point. They haven't done it yet, but they actually have. The allies are getting into a battle over the forward bunker right now. They got a quick grab on it, but no, they can't hold on to it. The Axis able to take things back. Here comes Bench, however. He's looking for a grab, and Chibi gets destroyed just as Clammy Bastards spawn into the map at their new forward spawn. They're going to come running out looking for a plant on the main entrance. And look at that nice opposition pushed forward by Eternal and Red Zone. Chibi also out here for default. And uh, Kami Bastard's going to have to focus on the side entrance for now. Shut down at the main entrance. Taking a look at the side entrance, making my way over here. I see Mercy just inside. Eclipse making his way through. Bench joining them as well. They need to toss something out. They're going to actually plant dynamite on the command post. Haven't seen that in quite a while. But they're going to go ahead and try to clear out that command post. As the dynamite counts down, a push going on the east radar right now. Bench coming up, but he's got opposition waiting for him. PD and F this game. Right at the top there. Will Bench survive? Why no? No, he won't. Dynamite planted. Dynamite, Dynamite planted. finally planted at the main entrance. It's 7 minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. So it took him a little while to get that main entrance dynamite down. Still a lot of time left, however. So it shouldn't be too much trouble to get those uh, those radar parts grabbed. Now let's take a look. East radar, not used to seeing opposition on it, to be honest. What we have is F this game right next to the radar. Up on top of the tin roofs, MC and Jibba preparing for the fire. They see the incoming Kami Bastards. And they are going to throw out their MP. 40. MC actually finding one player. I believe it was Bench that he found. Either Bench or Mercy. Ah, probably Mercy. Looking up here, we do have Madness, Mercy, Eclipse, and Bench all waiting to come over the crest of this hill towards the east parts. Now remember, they've got some pretty heavy fire coming their way. Uh, Default has decided not to give up the east radar. Instead, keep that one in control. At the same time, they have a field op throwing down artillery support on the main entrance. But coming through the trenches right now, it is Gigolo. He's all by himself for the Kami Bastards, making his way towards the west radar parts. And he may have this grab coming around the front. He grabs the west radar parts, and he is on the run. Kami Bastards making a bold move right now, but Gigolo drops the parts just as, oh, Eternal comes in. And Malenkov was trying to get a hold of those radar parts, but unfortunately not able to hold up versus Eternal. The west radar parts have been returned. Things are going strong. And, uh, you know, that was actually a pretty nice move by the Kami Bastards, but they were unable to convert that one. I actually would say that Eternal need to be watching more. Not Eternal. Um, Malenkov needed to be watching more to see where his teammate was coming under fire rather than worrying just about picking up the dropped radar parts. By paying no attention to where the fire was coming from, he ran in, grabbed the parts, got caught from behind, and, you know... I'm not going to say it, Jinx. Sorry, man. F this game! Because he changed his name for me to F this game, so it makes it a hell of a lot easier not to mess up. <laughs> All right, the objective has been grabbed. Which one? It is the rest radar coming down off the top here. Are they going to make it out with this one? No, they are not. Malenkov made the move, and he got nailed. Now, the West Raider parts picked up once again, but you got to see this. I mean, there's pretty crazy stuff going on. Oh, wow!
The heck that Gigolo sneaking through. They kept throwing bodies at that West Radar. I didn't think they were going to get through because they had such hard opposition from the default team. Uh, you know, I just wasn't giving them much credit. But you know what? CB put a lot of players at that main entrance. They were ready to do the drop and grab. And they pulled out the West Radar parts with 5.02 on the clock. All eyes focus on the East Radar. And this could be over very soon. We've just finished, we're just past the halfway point on the 10 minute countdown. Some artillery support being called on the crest of the hill that leads down to the East Radar parts. Eclipse is waiting for a boost, but he's caught in the crossfire. Here comes three from default coming from the uh, communications tower here. And there you have it. The East Radar parts have been grabbed in the hands of Mercy. Madness going to come and pick them up. How far will Madness make? He's going to revive his teammate. Get nailed. Mercy coming up the hill. He gets owned as well. And here is Bench coming around trying to get the uh, radar parts. But no. Bench Luger came out to play from MC. And Bench didn't stand a chance versus that tiny little pistol. Here comes CB once more, however. They're coming fresh off their spawn. Boost coming over the top. Eclipse making a move on the East Radar parts. Misses his first jump. Gets the second one. Can he make it off the hill? No, he does not. So Eclipse is going to get revived by a quick jump from Mercy. Pick them up again. Can't make it off the hill a second time. And Madness finally comes from behind. Picks up the East Radar parts. Makes it his way up the hill. And Madness, he's going to make it this time. He is a medic. He is fully healthed up. Making his way through the side entrance. As they do a little pass off, passing off the uh, radar parts to Madness, who's going to make the final run. Let's take a look. Flamethrower coming out to play. And we're looking at that uh, truck right now. Gigolo playing with the flamethrower. He's not going to last long as here comes Default. Artillery support called down on the truck. And Default is going to have to scatter as the radar parts are coming this way. Artillery support destroys Malenkov. Launches, Gigolo's launched by a grenade. More artillery support comes out as F this game. Chibi Cheesecake <laughs> at a red zone. Uh, I guess it's just Chibi Cheesecake and F this game who make their way up to uh, death and destruction by F and their teammates. Now, we've got Madness holding back in the allied spawn. Everyone else pushing out, trying to clear the way. Madness getting ready to make his move. Here he comes. Grenades coming towards the entrance. Can Madness make it? He's coming around the corner, and he does it under heavy fire. The time has been set. Seven minutes and 14 seconds. Whew. Well played by the commie bastards. I need a new pin. 7.14. Very respectable time. Nice work by CB. And we'll have to see what Default can pull out in this next half. Uh, let's take a look at the Roll of Honor. Red zone all over the place. Highest fragger, highest ranking officer, most highly decorated, best field ops. F this game coming out as best medic, best engineer going out to Malenkov from Kami Bastards. And that's about all she wrote as we get ready for the next half. Big C, what you saying, man? <laughs> Dude, are you, like, trying to make me say really bad words? All right. Big C would like to give a shout-out to Dan DeMan, but he doesn't say it that way, Slipnut, Sofa King, Lazy Alex, Red Forever, My Baby's Daddy, and the Siri Monster. So there's your shout-out, Big C. Two minutes behind? Are you sure about that? Uh, I think that, uh... I don't know. <laughs> it's all good, guys. This Thursday night on Inside the Game, GGL playoffs continue. We've got some uh, Quake 3 and Unreal Tournament 2004 action starting at 9 p.m. 8 versus 4. Second half spike off the website. On Ax or the allied side of the map. Let's take a look at the 10 seconds left until this match begins, and we'll have a chance to see what default will be pulling up out of their sleeves. Will Plant Kami Bastards try to do an East defense? It's the first time I've seen it in a long time, so it's really hard to say. Making my way over to the uh, Axe or the Allied side of the map, let's take a look at what default is going to start with. Heading towards their spawn point, you can hear the support fire already. 
F this game destroyed by madness. Obliterated, perforated, destroyed. Pieces everywhere. Thompson coming out from MC, and he's making his way right now towards that side entrance. The command post, of course, in the hands of the Axis right now as the grenades rain down on MC. Can MC survive? He has two-thirds of his health left. But he's up against Mercy at the top, and MC's going to fall back, trying to wait to get revived. Gets caught instead by Gigolo rotating around and trapping MC. Mercy needs a little bit of love right now, has almost no health, looking for a medic to come through. Mercy not going to survive for long, going to go for a revive, coming fresh into the game. And here is Default, five of them working together, but... <laughs> You know that commie bastards are coming out of their spawn right now as dynamite is planted at the side entrance. A landmine causing a bit of damage to Jibba, but Jibba going to be revived after getting that dynamite down. 20 seconds left on the dynamite, and no engineers from the or from the clan. To oh, from the Kami Bastards team. Now, Mercy is actually an engineer, but he decides not to chance it. Eight seconds left, and that's going to be a smart move as Jibba is ready to run through that door. Jibba Cheesecake is just outside as well. F this game. Going to go ahead and kill and come back in on the fresh spawn. Grenade coming out. Very nice nade and surprise, Jibba. Mercy is waiting for you. Grenades continue to rain down by Mercy. Mercy joined by Gigolo and Madness as they continue their side entrance defense. And, uh, you know, default, they're waiting just a little bit before they make any moves inside. Now let's take a look at the main entrance taking the long way around. Going past the shacks with the uh, cabinets. Main entrance right now, not much happening. In fact, what we are seeing is it's 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Not access right now as the grenades rain down towards on all they have to offer as they continue to expand their site. 10 seconds left until this match begins and we'll have a chance to see what default will be pulling up out of their sleeves. Will Clan Kami Bastards try to do an east defense? It's the first time I've seen it in a long time. So it's really hard to say. Making my way over to the uh, axe or the allied side of the map. Let's take a look at what default is going to start with. Heading towards their spawn point. You can hear the support fire already. F this game destroyed by madness. Obliterated, perforated, destroyed pieces everywhere. Thompson coming out from MC, and he's making his way right now towards that side entrance. The command post, of course, in the hands of the Axis right now as the grenades rain down on MC. Can MC survive? He has two-thirds of his health left, but he's up against Mercy at the top, and MC's going to fall back, trying to wait to get revived. Gets caught instead by Gigolo rotating around and trapping MC. Mercy needs a little bit of love right now, has almost no health, looking for a medic to come through. Mercy not going to survive for long, going to go for a revive, coming fresh into the game. And here is Default, five of them working together, but <laughs> you know that commie bastards are coming out of their spawn right now as dynamite is planted at the side entrance. A landmine causing a bit of damage to Jibba, but Jibba going to be revived after getting that dynamite down. 20 seconds left on the dynamite. And no engineers from the or from the clan to oh, from the Kami Bastards team. Now Mercy is actually an engineer, but he decides not to chance it. Eight seconds left, and that's going to be a smart move as Jibba is ready to run through that door. Jibba Cheesecake is just outside as well. F this game, going to go ahead and kill and come back in on the fresh spawn. Grenade coming out. Very nice nade and surprise, Jibba. Mercy is waiting for you. Grenades continue to rain down by Mercy. Mercy joined by Gigolo and Madness as they continue their side entrance defense. And, uh, you know, default, they're waiting just a little bit before they make any moves inside. Now let's take a look at the main entrance taking the long way around. Going past the shacks with the uh, cabinets. Main entrance right now, not much happening. In fact, what we are seeing is it's 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Kami Bastards, Eclipse, and Malenkov, and Bench all watching that forward spawn point. So if anyone tries to come in from default, they're going to find it a very difficult proposition. Now, default making their way inside, looking for that uh, side entrance, finding a bit of pain, waiting for them. So they're going to have to spawn all the way back at the beginning. Here comes an airstrike outside of the entrance to the forward spawn as Dynamite finally planted at the main entrance. And Kami Bastards still hold that forward spawn. 21 seconds left on the Dynamite. It is guarded by F This Game MC and Eternal as Fragoth or Kragoth.net becomes a shoutcaster. That way you can see all the cool stuff in the shoutcast mode. Dynamite definitely going to blow. There's no way that Kami Bastards are going to get through with a defuse in time. 
So Default is primed and ready for some pushes, and they have four minutes and 15 seconds entrance. left to work with. The, the main entrance the has been destroyed. The uh, command post still in the hands of the commie bastards. So the Default team is not getting all of the important points that they need. They would like to get that, uh, that command post. They'd like to get the forward spawn. But it's not happening quickly for them. Here comes more support at the side entrance. And, uh, you know, we're looking at a fallback just a little bit. Malenkov and Clips hanging out at the broken down bridge, waiting. Finally, you got the destruction of the Axis command post. You know that was a nice satchel charge coming out. And the command post back in action, this time in the hands of the Allies, as commie bastards focus all eyes on the radar. East radar guarded by Gigolo and Gigolo alone. West radar, you've got a bench up on the hill here. Everyone else is over next to the radar. Eclipse and Malenkov. Brucey coming through the trenches towards the main entrance. And here comes Default. They're going straight for the East radar parts. No surprises there. Jibba and F this game trying to work together. Jibba gets a little boost. Wait. No, F this game wants the boost. Now finally Jibba gets the boost. He's up on the ledge here, jumps over, grabbing the radar parts and making his way, dropping health as he goes. You can see him getting nailed. Shot after shot, direct hits, but F this game right there to pick it up. Neither of them surviving. Chip and Cheesecake revives him. But to no avail. Oh, wait, here we go. F this game gets into a battle, amazingly stays alive, and he's making his way through the side entrance just as the rest of his team spawns in at the command post. Well played by default. F this game, they're not even going to worry. Default's not even going to worry about that forward spawn point. F this game now coming. Oh, wait, they blew the main entrance. What am I talking about? They got the forward spawn point. So F this game now coming through the uh, main spawn point for the Allies right now. Comes around the corner. His teammate MC says, coast is clear. And the East radar parts have been captured. Now it's time for the West radar with 2 minutes and 12 seconds left to go. Can Default pull this one off? We're about to find out. Looking around the West radar. Eclipse right in front. Off to the side. Malenkov and Bench. Where else do we have CB? Well, we have Gigolo still hanging out at the East Radar to provide crossfire. He's not going to survive for long as Default comes in from that side entrance. They're making their way across the bridge just behind the uh, rotating communications satellite. Chip and Cheesecake and F this game on the other side, making their way, getting ready for an attack. Will they even make it across the heavy fire coming out from Gigolo? Looking around at default. Down low we have MC. He's preparing for a boost if anyone comes by. Instead he's going to go ahead and kill himself. We have a full hardcore killing going on. <laughs> we had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people kill themselves all at the same time. You know, think that maybe the uh, spawns are synced just a little bit there? Just a little. So here comes Default, fresh off of their spawn, trying to make their boost. Jibba trying to revive his teammate, but his teammate is made unrevivable by some long-distance fire. Chibi coming through, doing the revive on Jibba. So Jibba and Chibi are alive, but Gigolo, he's ready to call that one done. Gigolo gets caught in the crossfire with Jibba and Chibi. And Jibba going to kill himself. They're going to start all over again. They like to do this little kill thing. It's Suicide Central. Here on Inside the Game, TWL enemy territory on radar. A matchup between Default and Commie Bastards. Default with only 25 seconds left to go. It's down to the wire. Do they stand a chance? They're looking for a final boost. Red Zone is down, but none of his players see him. So they don't even go for the boost. They had the perfect opportunity, and they just completely missed it. So, you know, nine seconds left to go. No way this one's going to happen in ha favor of default. First point going to go out to the Kami Bastards team. They finally grab the objective, but not in enough time. You hear it. The match is now over. 7-14 was just too much for default in this first set. Looking at the Roll of Honor, it's all about the Kami Bastards. Bench coming in with pretty much everything he wants. A best medic, highest accuracy. Highest fragger going out to Madness, who also claims highest life weapons. So two players from CB, all of the honors go to them. And good games being exchanged for that first set. Objective secured, that's fantastic. And
And we're here. The match is going to start in 10 seconds playing for Commie Bastards. It's Bench, Mercy, Gigolo, Eclipse, Madness, and Malenkov playing for default. Now set, tasked with setting the time. It's Chibi, F this game, Eternal, MC, Jibba, and Red Zone. Time to see what default is all about. They couldn't handle 7 minutes and 14 seconds, and now with 10 minutes on the clock, can they set a time? They're starting out with a little bit different strategy, rotating around and heading for the main entrance, sending one inside to grab the forward spawn, make that three as they rotate. Four! <laughs> They're all making their way for the forward bunker, getting a battle over it. Default in position, four of them making their way through as the Axis construct the command post and Eclipse working really hard outside for the Kami Bastards, but Jibba surprises him from the side, gets a nice little shot to the head. Now Jibba... Here's his chance. Gigolo hasn't quite made it outside yet. Now Malenkov has joined him. Should have thrown the dynamite down right away. But here comes an airstrike. Jibba going to make a run for it as the airstrike clears out. Will he get back in time to plant the dynamite? Pliers have come out. And you know what? Jibba, nice dodging action, action by Jibba. He's able to get the dynamite down just in time before it's sunk away. And Default is showing some very nice strategies here. They're basically showing that they have flexibility. As Dan Man would like to give a shout out to Sofa King. See how nicely I say that? It's really pretty. And of course, uh, Jerry wants a shout out to Pound Slow Motion. We are all losers. I can do that for you, Jerry. As the dynamite continues to tick down, not much going on. There we go. Dynamite has blown the main entrance. And Default is nowhere to be found because they are rotating back around. I have a feeling we're going to see some action at the side entrance. As Default sends their entire team, except for one, to the side entrance. One landmine right there. Jibba jumps right over the top of it. I bet I'll find it on the way back. You dynamite, know how it goes. All right, Dynamite. Oh, wait, he missed it. Well done, Jibba. So Dynamite has been planted on the side entrance, and they're all going to stick around waiting for their chance to go inside. So they've got the main entrance already. Side entrance being worked right now. Seven minutes and 53 seconds left on the clock. Still a ton of time, and I think they're showing a much more organized game this time around. Of course, most of their challenges happen on the other side of the walls. Eternal and uh, Chibi rotating back. They're heading through that main entrance where they're going to find a bench waiting for them. Bench holding off just a little bit. In fact, I don't know what bench is doing. In fact, I don't know what the default players are doing because I came running out thinking that's where they'd go, and no, not so much. They decided to rotate back with their team. Oh, body launched. Jibba just flies through the air as he is destroyed by a little rifle nade action coming out to play. Mercy having some fun with that one. Heading into the side entrance. F this game and Jibba just outside. The rifle nades continue. Madness, Mercy, the two of them inside. Nades coming out to play. And a little kill revive from Madness to Mercy. Jibba starts to head inside, waiting for the nade to come through. Jibba makes it a little bit further, throws out a nade towards Mercy. Almost trips over it himself. Here comes Default, and they may have this one. There's the satchel charge destroying the command post. And now it's time to come through the other side, go for those east radar parts. No defense currently on the east radar parts by the Kami Bastards. So far, everyone that's alive is focused on the west radar, making sure nothing comes through there. Here comes the next spawn by Kami Bastards, however. Gigolo coming around the backside, going up the ramp. He's going to be ready for them as soon as they come into play. Joined by his teammate, Madness, as well. And here comes the push on the East Radar parts. <laughs> F this game. Misses the first jump, goes for the second. Makes his way off the ledge. He's getting shot. You can see it coming. Can he make it up the hill? No, he cannot. Teammate should be right there to pick it up. Madness making his way closer. He's going to get the East Radar Parts return. Well played by Madness. Red Zone was in the right position to pick up the parts, but he uh, just didn't get far enough uh, down the hill to actually grab them before they were returned. Both radars are secure, but here comes another push by the default team. They're going to head or send three around back. Oh, look. Sofa King has joined the channel. Welcome to Pound Radio ITG, Sofa King. <laughs> Jibba making his way towards the east radar. Not even going to make it up the hill. Trying to come around the back way, but his teammate is there at this game to get a little revive action. You know, it seems like they came under a lot heavier fire by taking that route. Now they're trying to go the long way around. See, now they're not quite picking up 
the uh, same strategies that we saw with the other teams. Chiba almost misses the radar parts. He starts to keep running past them and thinking he's going to come across them eventually. I don't even know. He has to double back, picks up those east radar parts. Eternal joins him as his uh, ally and his escort, you could say. Eternal going to take the lead, make sure all things are clear before Jibba comes out the other side and tries to plant those radar parts on the back of the truck. Also waiting on the other side, MC is going to be able to tell them that all is clear and the three of them can work together. They have secured the secure secure radar, radar, radar parts. Part. Why am I fired? It's all good, yo. So, the East Radar parts have been grabbed. Four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. And we're watching what CB is going to pull out here. They're all up on the hill. They've got plenty of time left to work with. They're going to have to hold off this team for over four minutes. Are they going to be able to do it? Well, this isn't quite the Cal I match. But you know what? It's still good teams showing their strategies here. We're watching some artillery support. Airstrikes being called down on the hill. Another one coming around the corner. Some grenades coming out as well. We're waiting to see who's going to make the move on the West Radar as commie bastards reset themselves. Kills going on everywhere. Suicides. Default coming into play. You can hear the long distance fire. Here's Default down at the bottom of the uh, hill here. I don't see much action going on by the default team. However, they made it as far as the wall, and then they were stopped dead as the wall. I suppose the wall is always dead, huh? Coming around back, I find Eternal, Jibba, and Chibi. They've been spotted. Madness, Madness and Gigolo, MP40s blazing. Come around. Gigolo finds Jibba. Madness, however, or Gigolo finds Jibba, and then Thompson fire from Eternal. There's him out. Madness tries to come for a revive. Both of them die, and they're going to go ahead and spawn back in nice and fresh. More action happening around this back side of the uh, warehouse. And we still have Red Zone and F this game alive. Trying to make their way through. Red Zone continuing to move forward. He's making a move right now on the West Radar. He's going to throw out an airstrike. And then get nailed. MP40. Still looking for default to make their way in. Airstrike came through. And uh, I don't know. We're having a little bit of problems with ET TV. I don't know. It seems to be fixed now. Cragoff.net is uh, hooked up and ready for action. All right. So coming around back here, commie bastards still having a grand old time. They're holding off default like nobody's business. Chippy Cheesecake. He's right next to the ladder up to the slide. Gonna hold off on that one. Here comes Madness and Gigolo. They're finding Chibi, and Chibi has nowhere to hide. Here comes Default. They're coming from the side entrance, making their way next to the communications tower. Red Zone prone right on the other side of the broken down bridge. Gonna have to back off as a nade comes his way. And we're seeing a lot of death towards the uh, Default team. They are only two minutes. I don't know. This is not looking good for default. One minute and 55 seconds left. It is still a possibility. They have enough time to even do a long run if they can grab the radar parts right now. West radar pretty secure as Mercy moving forward. We've got some, di or some landmines out here in strategic locations just to try to slow down the default team. Mercy moves forward, plants another landmine there. And then falls back to wait for the incoming forces. Artillery support coming down on the hill next to the communications radar thing. And, you know, the firefights are all happening off in the distance. None of them are even coming close to the west radar. And, you know, they're trying to make their way. Here we go. We've got Red Zone up here. He's trying to make his way up the hill, but it's like four against one. And there's no way Red Zone all the way down to his pistol. There's no way he's going to make it out of this one. But here comes Jibba coming from the side. He's grabbed the West Radar parts. He's making his way through. Absolutely no one to guard him, however. And you can see the health he's dropping for himself is actually dropping behind. And he's able, Jibba somehow, able to sneak in there, grab the West Radar parts. With only 58 seconds left to go, the time is now set to 9 minutes and 2 seconds. You know, I pretty much counted default out of that one. They surprised me. My apologies. Well played. Mercy coming in with highest experience points, highest rank you saw officer, most highly decorated, highest ba battle sense, best engineer, and highest accuracy. F this game, best medic, red zone, highest fragger, highest light weapons, also to red zone, and madness. I ain't got no friends. Why don't people love me? Hands are fast for madness. Madness having fun in a little bit of downtime.
And we'll ha take our downtime to go out and see what's going on on uh, IRC. <laughs> uh, interesting. Yeah. Sofa King would like to give a shout out to Den the Man of Cyrus Torment and Big C the Lover. Dan Man also giving some love out to Sofa King. <laughs> you guys are having way too much fun. This is bad. Why would I do a shout out in Spanish? That would be no fun for me. Although I did learn a little Spanish in college. Um, I kind of sucked at it. So it's all good. Cash. Shout out to Cash over on QuakeNet as we're waiting for Jibba to ready up. The walls are falling. Once Jibba gets readied up, second half of the second set will be underway. There it is. Jibba is ready for action. The countdown has begun. And mad love to all of you crazy enemy territory lovers and haters out there. I can't even keep up with half the stuff you guys are saying in IRC. You guys are just all uh, insane. Yeah. Six seconds left on the countdown, and we'll get this match started. It is Radar for TWL Enemy Territory Match of the Week. Default versus Tommy Bastard. The match has begun. And we're going to start out with a quick look at what the Tommy Bastards are up to. Remember, last time their time was 7 minutes and 15 seconds. They can pull off a similar time. They'll be set. Support fire from Red Zone. Very well placed. Mercy and Gigolo owned by that one. And that's got to be a sucky way to start the match. As the Axis construct their command post and Malenkov and Bench push forward by themselves, come up against heavy opposition from MC and Jibba. Grenades raining down. And a Bench and Malenkov have to back off a little bit, wait for their team to come in. There's an air strike or artillery strike being called down as well. So that's going to slow them down even further as they have to be held out. Held back just a little bit longer. I love you too, Lindsay. Shout out to Nickler's Aussie, Aussie E sexiness. And I'm not going to say that, actually. Not going to do it, Sofa. Just not going to do it. All right. So, dynamite has been planted at the side entrance. 23 seconds left on the countdown. Mercy, he's waiting here just in case he needs to whip out the weapon and do a little bit of damage. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime, fights continue back towards the allied spawn. And we're looking, they're going to go ahead and rotate outside, send a couple inside. Eclipse slowly making his way inside, throwing a nade in before he goes for a capture. Gigolo coming in from the other side. And oddly enough, no one guarding the fag. So the side entrance has been blown. And Gigolo grabs that forward spawn point, waiting outside the forward spawn point. It is Chibi, Eternal, and Red Zone. And, uh, you know... Pretty good crossfire being presented by those three players. So an airstrike being called outside. Red zone, is he going to dodge it in time? Well, he runs inside and instead gets nailed by some MP40 fire. Thompson fire, I'm sorry. Coming to play from Malenkov. Finally, they're ready for it. Eternal comes around. He opens the door, gets nailed in the side of the head. And Malenkov going to throw down the dynamite, get the pliers out. And this looks like smooth sailing for a main entrance plant. So what we have, 6 minutes and 39 seconds left on the clock. Side entrance has been blown. Allies have built the command post in their favor. And the main entrance is going to go in just a few seconds here. On the other side of the main entrance, Default pushing forward to guard the uh, east radar parts right now as Kami Bastards making a few slight moves towards that. They are sending some bodies down, but the uh, crossfire is just a little bit too much for them. Default, Chibi, Red Zone, and Internal are going to have to rotate around, fall back to that west radar part. And we'll see how that pays off for them as Malenkov throwing an airstrike up on the hill, trying to clear out the default team. Default running like lemmings off the cliff, trying to avoid that uh, airstrike, and they were successful. Malenkov makes his way through the trenches, thinks he has a clean shot, but Red Zone has already pulled back. 
lined up on him and destroyed him. Gigolo coming off the spawn. He is a lone gunman heading through the trenches. You know, it's interesting. All eyes appear to be focused on the east radar parts. Crossfire being provided from a distance on the west radar, but they don't seem to care what goes on with the west radar parts. Gigolo making his way up for the west radar right now. Throws out some crossfire before he comes into sight. I don't know that that was actually smart for him, but, you know... He's a medic, so I can guess he can do whatever the hell he wants. He grabs the West Radar parts, joining his teammate Malenkov just off the ledge here. The two of them are going to try to work together and see if they can get that the Radar part through the uh, gauntlet here. Malenkov picks it up, but he can't do it. And those Radar parts now going to be picked up by Madness. Madness trying to make it out here, but he's getting chased down by Red Zone. Can Madness do it? Yes, he can. As a medic, he keeps himself, he himself healthy, and the West Radar parts have have been grabbed. Now, commie bastards focused on the east radar parts. Now, why default sets up such a strong defense on the east radar parts, I could not tell you. But it hasn't been a very good setting for them so far. Maybe it'll turn around here as an airstrike or artillery support is called down right on that ledge, and just as Mercy gets bounced up over the, <laughs> the ledge. Beautiful. Destroyed by artillery support. What is it the Torment said that when you can? Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that one later. We're following this east radar as it continues its roundabout motion in circles. Here comes Kami Bastards, fresh off the spawn, making their way. Eclipse in position for a boost. Mercy going up over the wall, dodging an airstrike being called out there. Mercy trying to come up the hill, but he's not going to even make it around the corner. Just too strong of opposition. Malenkov tries to come in from behind, but MC spots him. A couple of quick shots to the side of the head, and that's all she wrote. The radar keeps on spinning. Kami Bastards coming off the spawn, taking the long way around. Just one making it to the backside. That'd be Mercy. He's coming around the garage, looking for an easy shot. Going to boost up onto the roof, it looks. No, no, wait. He thought he was going to make a boost move. And then Malenkov decided not to take him up on it. So Mercy comes around the corner. He is a medic. Gets into a quick fight. He distracts the attention of MC, F this game, and Jibba. But still not enough to get Kami Bastards up on the hill and grabbing that East Radar. Three minutes and ten seconds. Mercy making a move for it. Almost makes it to the Radar parts before he is cut down on the battlefield. Here comes Malenkov, joined by Bench, trying to dodge an airstrike there. He makes it off the ledge just in time. Will he get the support he needs as he is picked off long distance by Red Zone's MP40? The objective has been picked up by Madness, misses it the first time, doubles back and picks it up, making his way through the side entrance. Now, essentially Madness has a clear run, I'm pretty sure. Taking a look ahead here. Madness, uh, not much going to stop him heading through the forward spawn. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was running too far ahead of him. And it sounds like the radar parts actually got dropped out here. Maybe a slash kill? Just trying to keep track of what happened here. No, maybe just some damage being done. East of radar parts do go down. And they are going to be picked up once again, this time by Madness. And Madness, no problem getting it around the corner. He's going to get those radar parts ah, secured. And it took him 6 minutes and 56 seconds to do it. Even better than the first time around. 2-0 to zero, the score between these two teams. Good games being exchanged. And everyone says goodbye. Aw, everyone's gone. They left me. Eclipse, highest, most highly decorated, highest experience points, best medic, red zone getting highest light weapons, madness with highest accuracy, best covert ops, and a couple other things just for good measure. And that's all she wrote. The match is over. And commie bastards win. Now let's head out to IRC and see what all these red flashing windows are about.